Hello, my name's Francis and I'm with Winning Solutions Inc. and I'm here today with another free Microsoft Access tutorial. This one is for our bike rental database template available on our Microsoft Access Expert website. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and jump in. If you've watched any of these that I've made, you know that I always say the most important part of any business is the customers, so we're going to click on customers. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and add one into the system. Okay, so we'll just call her Jane Smith. Uh, give her an ID number, a quick made up address. Yeah. Okay. Same goes with the phone number, just to populate the fields a little bit. Okay, email. Okay, and we'll say that she used a driver's license, and this is not going to be any kind of accurate driver's license number, but we'll just put something in there for the sake of this video uh, and then I'm going to save and close okay and then I'm going to pull this page back up and see if I can uh, pull her up yeah there she is okay it fills right when we open her so that's good let's close this out okay so the next thing is rental items this is where you can find items you already have or add new items um, so we're just going to add one so we can see how that goes. Uh, we'll call it, uh, street bike. Okay. And we'll say that it is a fixed gear street bike. Okay. <clears throat> call it type in group one say that we acquired it for $250 and in order to rent it for the day is going to be $10 okay so now that we've done that we are going to uh, save and close okay and that's just how you add an item so now we're gonna go in uh, and do a transaction uh, and the system set up so that if you have a scanner and barcodes you can run those through if you don't you just need to know the code for whatever item you're going to rent out. So you can see that we already have three items out that are due back tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> and so we can only pull from the stock that is in currently. So we're going to go into process transactions. Okay. And we want to use our new customer. Okay. Okay. We won't push our luck. We'll stick with this. So we've pulled up item 12. It's a, a $2 rental due back the next day. Okay, so once you have an item in, it'll put the subtotal and the tax, and then it'll add it together for you. And you can see down here that you can click, but you can also use the hotkey listed, so F5 to pay now. Uh, whatever the customer hands you, let's say, since this is $2.14, they just hand you a $5 bill. Put it in, press enter, and it'll give you the change you need to disperse. Then you click pay, and it finalizes the transaction and puts it right here. Okay, so now that we've put a transaction through and we've got a couple other items out, we're going to go look at the report screen. So sales by date, and since we've only been working with this today, 
That's the date we'll put in. And it will pull up our sales for the day. Nice and simple. We don't have any late items right now, so this won't have anything to pull up, but I'll still click through it and pull up the blank report. Okay, the settings. Um, this is a really important spot. It's where you really flesh out your database. You can make the item types whatever you want. You can add more to this list. Uh, you can change your pricing data and how long it stays out when they get it. You can add, remove, or change your salespeople. And uh, you can change your company information. Like this one right now is formatted for a video store, but the database is actually for a bike rental company. So, you know, we could, it says video spot, we could call it, you know, bike renters. And now it's a bike company. Okay, so that's a very important section in your database. Uh, we're also going to go to return rental items. Okay, so let's say that item one's coming back in. And the specific one that's coming back in is 0013765. Click that in, press enter, it pulls it in, says it's on time, no amount owed. Uh, so you click return now, and it's now back in. As you can see, it changed. So it's easy as that. Uh, that's really all there is to it on this one. You just put your customers in, some identifying information, add whatever you want to be renting, process it out and then return it, and then you can check and see how you're doing through the report screen. Uh, I hope you have found this video to be both entertaining and informative, uh, and I would like to thank you and your interest in WSI, and I hope you have a good one.